morning and welcome to Mojo Designs and I have a video finally after several weeks. I apologize for that. Things have been crazy and hectic and I just couldn't pull it off. But we are back. Here we're going to be creating a card, a clean and simple card, using some paper romance products very excited about this. So what we have is just craft card stock that I have cut in half. So it would be like an open portrait. We're going to turn it on its side so that the crease is to the left hand side. I have a piece of white card stock and all my card stock comes from Paper Tray Ink. I have a piece of white card stock that's um, four and a half inches by three and a half inches and it's going to go in there I'm going to use this adorable stamp that you can purchase at Paper Romance and it says a ton of love coming your way and it's a high hope stamp. And you've seen me use this technique before and it's not necessarily I guess my favorite technique because I love I love to color and layer. So a clean and simple card using a line art image like this elephant and not coloring him in all the way is always a challenge for me. So these are fun. I like to do these. I'm just lining it up to the grid and then I'm going to stamp him in the lower right hand corner. Just like that. So cute. And all I'm going to be doing is coloring the hearts in this image. I'm just going to be using two colors of red, R24 and R R39, and I know that's quite a big jump, um, but I just want just a little bit of dimension because we're going to cover these up with some glitter. Gotta love glitter. I mean, this is super easy. We're almost done. And that's what clean and simple cards are all about. So this week over at Paper Romance, the challenge is to create a clean and simple Valentine card. And I thought these would be really cute for my boys on Valentine's Day. Because, you know, I think this is the only day I can get away with being super sappy with them. Because they're growing up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a strip of ribbon here. You could do pattern paper. You can do um, pretty much anything that you'd like. I thought for, I have a whole bunch of ribbon scraps. I don't know about you, but I, uh, my seam binding ribbon that I hand dye, I, I just don't want to get rid of all those pieces. And you've seen me do this before, so why don't we move that out of the way. I'm just going to take a strip of score tape, lining it up against my grid so that I know where to place the tape so that it's straight. I'm going to push that down. I am going to wrap the excess around just because we're going to be adhering it anyway on the back. And then um, we're going to take, take a little bit and you just kind of scrunch it, kind of scrunch it on there like that. I think we'll do some of the yellow. And if it's frayed on that end, you can make sure that end is down. I kind of like it like that, uh, but that's up to you. And some of these little poofs, if they're too big for you, I'll go back in with a mini glue dot and kind of take care of it. I applied all this ribbon to the side and here's I don't know if you could really see that it's kind of poofy and frayed and I really think since this is a clean and simple card it really adds to it that's your taste and then what I did was I went through with a little bit of um, rock candy distress stickles to finish the card up so this is our clean and simple card for the paper romance challenge that is going on today. So make sure you check out the Paper Romance Challenge blog and I will give a link down at the bottom. Alright, thanks for stopping by. See you later.